So we are now at sort of the end of the process here and we're so lucky to be here with Kevin in the tasting room of Divine Distillers and Winery. Uh, super cool. Um, he was actually just telling us too about what they need to do to be a certified organic uh, craft distillery. Yes. And so I thought that was a bit of cool background to share with you guys because it's a very localized process which is super awesome. Absolutely. So. Uh First of all, our farm here is a certified organic 23 acre farm, primarily grapes that we grow here, uh, as well as some fruit, um, apples and pears. Um, as well, we're a certified craft distillery. And what that means in BC is that we have to use 100% of our raw ingredients. Uh, they have to be made from BC. So uh, our barley, for instance, that we use in both our whiskeys is all grown locally on the Sandwich Peninsula here. It's malted locally here in Victoria as well. Uh, within two minutes down the road is, is where both of the fields that we grow our barley. Uh, we're growing some of our barley ourselves on another property we own. Uh, and even the ancient grains, we're actually starting to grow some of those ourselves here. So uh, we're trying to keep everything as local as possible. That's awesome. The other thing with our, our rum, we want to do a rum, but we can't use sugar cane or molasses because that's not grown in BC. So we decided to use honey as our sugar source. Ooh, cool. So we can't technically call it a rum, but uh, we make a honey spirit and in the style of a rum. So Super cool. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what we've got here is our ancient greens. And uh, we're going to do a little sample here for you guys. Nice. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Thank you. So that's part of the job. Yes. <laughs> that's right. So we proof this down to 45%. Uh, both our whiskeys stay at 45%. And you're really going to mm. get a sense of the flavor that the four ancient grains bring to the table. There's a little bit of sort of macadamia nut candy fruit that goes on there. Um, the Coruscant grain in particular provides a bit of nuttiness. Uh, the emmer and the iron corn are sort of predecessors to wheat, so you get a little bit of natural sweetness from, from those grains. Definitely get that on the nose for sure. Yeah, yeah, so please enjoy. Nice. And if you guys want water at all, you can get, drop the water in there. Oh, perfect, yeah. I, I tend to kind of like them at, at the, yes. the strength of the yes. distillery, so. Yeah. Um, and I love that it's um, above the 40% for the EBV. We always kind of, in our reviews, yeah, we're absolutely. always looking for that, you yeah. know. Even I know that some of the bigger brands, like in Highland Park, they're at 43, and I just love to see what that would taste like at 46, yes. 45. You yeah. know, just with that little bit of higher ABV to bring out some of the flavors and even even the nose and the whiskey. So yeah. it's awesome to see it it being bottled at 45 percent. I think that's fantastic. Yep. So okay. and total craft process too, non chill filtered, no color. That's tech ticking all the boxes Everything for us. Absolutely. So. Yeah, and as you can see with the color with this, uh, really just around a year in barrel, it's amazing the color that those quarter casts really impart. Like how dark it is, right? Like how much of a rich color it is there. I'll just kind of come up and see if you guys can get that color on the camera there. So you got kind of a, I would almost go with like a, that's a fairly medium kind of copper there, deep amber anyways. Yep. It's got a gorgeous color in the glass to it. Like fantastic. So. And again, that, that quarter cast process, I guess that imparts quite a yes. bit of the, the wood color on yeah. the And as the I spirit. mentioned uh, in the distillery, you know, we're tasting that sort of on a every month type of basis on our initial batch, just to sort of see how the flavor and the color was developing. And it was at just, just less than a year where we thought that is the flavor we're going for anymore. And you might get too much of that oakiness coming through. So we really wanted to... Too much kind of barrel impact, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. So I get, uh, what do you get on the nose there, Brad? Well, I'm, for me it's a little tough, I'm just getting over a cold, so... Oh, right, right, yeah. Just very sweet. So I get like fruit Fruity. flavors. Yeah, like, it smells delicious. Strawberry, kind of raspberry. When he, when you had mentioned, Kevin, when you mentioned the macadamia nut, I just like went right in my brain right there as I was, yeah. I was actually like, taking a smell at that time and I just thought, wow, that's, that's dead on there. It, it, yeah, I agree. It's like, it's very, like, it feels, it smells robust, like very, like an energetic whiskey. Like it's got, it's got a nice, really nice nose to it. And, and the nice thing too is being such a young age, um, it doesn't have that, that sort of hotness, real hotness to it. Right. And some young spirits, um, they're not as, you know, they haven't spent that much time in barrel. They're, they're still pretty hot. They haven't mellowed, but mm -hmm. this, this, uh, the interaction in the quarter cast, it, it's really, really smooth flavors. Should we taste it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, 
Sláče. Sláče. <laughs> Really good. That's super tasty. That is very delicious. It's got a nice little bite at the end, which I like. I, I, I get like cinnamon. Yeah. Yep. There's like a there's bite some spice. Yeah, a little bit of spice there. Yeah. A little bit of spice. It's just wonderful. Like uh, cinnamon and nutmeg, like your classic kind of baking spices. Yep. But that is delicious. Absolutely. And there is, I can like tell you guys, there is that unique flavor from those ancient grains. Yeah. It's not like any any whiskey that I've tried. So that, that's sort of what we were going for is, is it's somewhere in between a single malt and a bourbon maybe in style. Um, so we, we were just trying to go for something completely different. We have our traditional single malt. Uh, let's, yeah. let's experiment with something different, but it appeals to people who like single malt. Yeah. And it appeals to people who like a bourbon as well. And I love both and I just love yeah. this. This is like the perfect marriage of the two right here. It's very cool to taste it like this than what we tasted in. Yes. Yeah. In the process in the other room there. It's very cool how we taste it like that and then taste it like this. It's very... Taste yeah. kind of the raw distillate and then yeah. compare it to the very cool. finished yeah, you're product. You're almost getting a really concentrated flavor of the grains out of the still. Yeah. And then translate that to sort of the finished product here. Well, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really, really tasty. Yeah. It's got... Like you had mentioned, the the, the kind of the spice uh, uh, flavors and characteristics, like the toffees and the caramels of the bourbon, but then you you do have the the single malt notes there as well. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of like like you had said, it's this balance between those two worlds, and it's just very I wish this very was tasty. The plate the other day. <laughs> I know, I know, that's right. And we had mentioned this too about the bottle. Such a cool presentation on the bottle. Um, and uh, Kevin was mentioning that these bottles are actually from France, so. Sort of the one one of the small things that is not done at the distillery is the bottles, but they're just fantastic. Yeah, we want us to sort of differentiate. You know, you're trying to get your the visual impact on the shelf, so the bottle is one thing, and then our labeling. We work with a local uh, local artist, um, Margaret Hansen, and she does a lino cut based on an idea or a concept that we might give her, and uh, she turns it into this beautiful piece of art, and the the labels just really pop, and, and they tell awesome. they tell a story of the product too. So. Oh, the label's good, the bottle's good, I like the cork and that's... Yeah, the wood, the wood cork. Uh, and is it a cork or synthetic on the cork there? Uh, uh, it's synthetic actually, yeah. but, but natural wood top. Yeah. Um, it's, it's awesome. Super cool walling, love that. And you guys can actually, if you come down to the tasting room, you can actually purchase the, the label art as well. Yes. So which I think is a super cool kind of... Absolutely. That, yeah. you can, that you actually can come down and do that, it's cool. So if you fall in love with one of the labels, you can make it frame that up and put it in your, yeah. your man cave or your woman cave and... Well, this bottle on any bar will stand out for sure. For sure. Yes, definitely. Okay, well, thanks so much for having us out here absolutely. today. Thanks for really coming, guys. It. Glad to have you. Amazing yeah. experience. Yeah. Absolutely. Until next time, guys, keep drinking more whiskey. Sorry. Salon